OK, so you're using Cubase, and here we're using Cubase Elements, but you could be using Cubase Pro. And you spent a lot of time creating a VST instrument track. So for instance, here we've got the SWAM flute, that's the sample modeling flute, and we've configured it for use by Rolly. What we've also done is we've changed the color, and we can let's just change that color to a different color. Let's change it to a nice orange. And we've selected an icon for the track just to make life easy for ourselves. And if you go into the configuration of the instrument, you'll see that we've changed the pitch bend up and down to 12. And to make it compatible with the Rolly Seaboard Rise keyboards, we've changed expression to aftertouch, and in this case also vibrato depth to CC74. But you could, of course, change anything you like from the settings. And we've saved this, and we're thinking that this is something we may use quite a lot. Um, certainly if you spent money on a VST instrument, you may want it to be working. Uh, and it takes, a little, it takes a while, it takes two or three minutes to configure this instrument each time, and you may just want to click on a button and insert it as a track without having to reconfigure every time. So how do we do this? Well, we save it as a track preset. So you've configured your flute in this case, and we're very happy with it. So we right-click on the track, and we choose Save Track Preset. And this is the Save Track Preset option box. Um, I've created a new folder so it's empty, so you can see what I'm going to do. And down the bottom here it says New Preset. So I'm going to type in uh, Rolly Swam Flute. Um, you can give it categories, so in this case it's going to be uh, okay, ethnic. Um, doesn't have a character, but you can choose from all of these characters. Um, I'm going to give it a five-star rating, and I'll tell you why I do that in a second. Um, I don't, it doesn't really have a style or subcategory or substyle, so I'm just going to give it ethnic, maybe, and then five-star rating, and call it Wham, uh, Rolly Swam Flute, and press OK. OK, so now I'm going to delete that track. It's gone. So I want to recreate that track. Uh, I've, let's say I've opened a new... Um, project, I want to put in that SWAM flute. So I right click and I choose Add Track using Track Preset. And you can see it's loaded up a whole load of stuff in here. And it's searching for five star ratings. If I just go back to no star ratings, what you'll get is this ridiculously long search view. And these are all the ones that come with Steinberg Cubase. So Steinberg have made a whole load of track presets for you, and this is all load of things, including um, effect setups for guitars, vocals, etc., etc. But because I've saved my instruments with a five star rating, I can just click on the five star button. All it shows here is the instruments that I have saved with my five star rating, and there is Rolly Swam Flute that we just saved. If you want to, you can click on this option box and you can show. The filters, so you can see here that Rolly Swam Flute is an ethnic, but I don't really want to see those flute, those uh, filters, so I'm just going to show this long list. And I'm going to click Rolly Swam Flute, Add Track. This takes marginally longer to add a track than it would do if you just inserted the instrument, because what it's done is it's inserted the track, it's inserted the little icon, and if you look in the settings, it saved all the settings exactly as we wanted them, without me having to save it as a VST preset or anything like that. So track presets are incredibly handy. And I'll show you why they're even more handy, because it also saves audio inserts, EQ, and the channel strip settings. So if I go to audio inserts, let's just add, uh, what can I add? I'm going to add, um, uh, the Sound Toys effects rack. And I'm going to load up one of those, so I'm just going to drop um, Decapitator and crist uh, Crystallizer. Not Decapitator, I think it's a bit silly. Um, and the Phase. So I put a Phase and I put a Crystallizer on there. And I'm going to close that down. Um, I'm not going to add any reverb or anything. But I'm going to right-click again and choose Chaves, Save Track Preset. Save it as Rolly Swam Flute. It'll say, do I want to overwrite it? I say yes. Now, remove that track, and we add it again, choosing Rolly Swam Flute, add the track. It takes a little bit longer again this time, because now what it's done is it's also added the effects rack. So it's incredibly clever. Um, the one thing it doesn't seem to save is effects sends. So if you've got um, 
kind of your default reverb loaded up, it won't save those effect sends, which is a little bit frustrating, but of course it does save all the inserts and other things. So that's a very quick look on how to use track presets to save time configuring VST instruments.